Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel, Sun Duck Film. In this video, we're gonna talk about some crazy motion graphics right here inside of After Effects. You know the drill, smash the like button, helps us out tremendously, and let's jump in. And as always, you can download our project files for free if you wanna follow along. Our first technique, we're gonna create this really cool Flickr title. So here we are, all we have in here is the title, no animation. After you type out your title, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Edit, Duplicate, and we'll come here to the bottom title. And simply what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and click on the no fill color under the character window. And you might need to click on stroke color and you might need to turn that on. But here's what we have. You can change the stroke width right here. I have mine set to two. And then we're gonna turn our top title back on. And simply we're gonna open this up, go into animate and we're just gonna add an opacity to this. We'll come here, set the opacity to 0%, open up range selector one. And we'll set our start up to maybe a 50% or something like that. And then we'll come here to offset, alt, click the stopwatch. And we're going to type in wiggle, open privacy, 5 comma, say 50. And you're going to get this flicker here. And that's cool. So what we're going to want to do is come here to the advanced tab, set this to randomize order, make sure that's set to on, come here to ease high, set that up to 100% and the ease low to 100% as well. So now we'll have a flicker title in here. We can adjust how much is being flickered by the start percent. So we lower this. There'll be less letters being flickered in here. So it's completely up to you how you want to use this. But that is a really cool first technique. All right, so the next technique I want to talk about background here. I want to keep it simple, but I want to be able to show you how you can implement a background image and a little bit of this flicker design that you see here. It's really cool. So obviously we want to bring in a video, an image. I just have this still image here. I think it's really cool. So what I want to do is kind of crop this in here and fit this perfectly. So I want to create a new solid and we'll click OK. And all we're going to do is we'll let SR keyboard for scale and I'm going to scale this down. I'll bring this layer right above our video or image and I'll set the track mat of our image to alpha matte. And this will take the form of that matte. So now I can perfect how I want this to be in here. So I can break the chain for scale if I hit on my keyboard and I can, you know, bring down the Y value here. And this will allow me to create more of a proportional border around our image. And of course I can relink the chain and scale this back up if I want to uh, and just fit that perfectly. All right, I'm happy with that. So now if I want to drop in like another video or something, I can just hold down Alt on my keyboard and I'll replace the image. And you know, I think it's a cool quick way to choose how you want your framing to be. And I can of course move the background image in any way that I want. So you can see I'll have a little bit more room up there and down there. So that's pretty cool. Now for the background, what I'm gonna do is just create a solid and we'll call it BG1 and we'll click OK. And this will be the color that I'll use, but select any color you want, bring it to the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is grab the rectangle tool and straight from the center of our composition, I'm just gonna draw out this mask like this. And then all I'm gonna do is take our background and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'll hit M on my keyboard for the mask, set it to subtract. And this time I'll go to uh, layer solid settings and I'll change this to a darker, maybe like a very dark, dark gray and click OK. So now we have this cool background here, but I want to change the color of this. So I'm going to create an adjustment layer, go to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll bring this right above the background. OK, then we'll come here to effect channel. We'll grab invert. OK, that changes everything. So what I'm going to do here is simply I'm going to hit T on my keyboard for opacity, add a keyframe for this move forward to maybe almost a second and we'll add another keyframe here. Move forward by one frame exactly, set it to 0% and then I'll move forward by the equivalent space here you'll see and I'll just add a keyframe. So what's gonna happen is we have this color switch but I want it to keep switching. So what I'm gonna do is Alt click the stopwatch and type in loop out capital O, close and open parenthesis just like that. So now it's gonna, this is gonna go on forever for however long we have this up here for. So that's really cool. Before we roll on, if you're looking to produce professional work inside of After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which has 750 plus templates for all your post-production motion graphic needs. That link will be in the description, and if you pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So next up, I want to talk about creating this border loopable title. Super simple and easy to do. So the first thing we want to do is type out a title. I'll do this right here in the center. And you see we have a title here that I just typed out. And this can be in the center of a composition. It doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the rectangle tool here. So what we're going to do is going to create this rectangle sort of mask around the center of our comp. And then we're going to open the text options. And uh, we're going to come here to the path options, of course. And then we're going to set this to mask one. 
And then we have a few settings here. So maybe reverse path is something we need to check on. Yeah, that looks good. So now we just got to animate this super simple. I'm going to alt click the stopwatch for first margin. And I'm going to type in time asterisk uh, 150. And this will animate our title. So from here, I'm going to go to effect time grab echo. I'm going to set the number echoes up to say eight. Your number might vary. And I'm going to come here to echo time. Hold down control my keyboard and just kind of drag through this and see what options we get. So you see as I expand this number here, you know, these uh, titles start to separate. So that seems about the right number. You know, you're going to have to experiment with what works for you. But after we do this, probably what we want to do here is take our title layer, put it underneath that adjustment layer. So now we have this border title that flickers in with our invert effect. So next up, I want to talk about creating these unique line animations that are just really cool and just some other ways to add detail to your comp. Just extra, like I said, these are crazy motion graphics. There's a number of ways we can do this. The first thing I'm going to do is come here and grab the ellipse tool, click on the word fill, set it to none, click OK, and make sure stroke is unable to solid color. Uh, you can use whatever stroke width that you want right here. So what I'm going to do is just draw this weird ellipse like this, OK? Um, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to hit R on my keyboard for rotation and just kind of rotate this awkwardly like this, you know, you get like a interesting shape and I can position it right here. So now I just want to create the animation that we can easily copy paste onto other layers. So I'm going to open this up, go in the contents, go to add and just add a quick trim paths to this, open up trim paths. So for the end percent, I'm going to set that directly to 0% right away. And I'm going to add a keyframe for end. I'll move forward to save me a second, pass a second, set this up to 100%. Then we'll go a little bit past that first keyframe, add a keyframe for start and we'll go past the last end keyframe, set that up to 100%. So we'll just have this very simple line animation here. Uh, you're welcome to expand those start keyframes. So the line will be on there for a little bit longer and cool. We'll grab both keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy, easy keyframes. You come here to the graph editor and we can select the two top uh, keyframes here and stretch out the handles and do the same thing with the bottom ones. So the animation now will have a little bit more style to it. So now what we can do is turn on motion blur and we can take this layer. We can just duplicate it if we want. We can just move it around the comp, rotate it in another direction, you know, come here to stroke width, make it a little bit smaller or something. Hit S on keyboard for scale. You know, you can kind of just resize this however you see fit. You know, it's just one way to do things, offset it. Now we can create something even more crazy. I can come here, grab the pen tool and maybe I'll just draw a frame here, click a point, click a point over here, drag out this handle you know, click down over here and just start creating these loops, right? But what we're going to do is create this really cool and unique path. So now with this unique loop here, what we can do is go back to the previous shape layer and I can just grab that trim paths right there, copy it, and then just paste it into the shape layer. So now we're going to have this in here and that's pretty cool. And now with these unique graphics, we just add a little bit more detail to our comp. Now, if you want to take this even further, we can add this quick RGB effect. Now, we have a ton of different presets among our templates. So, for example, we have a Glitch Masters pack, which is just you know over 300 templates of glitch effects uh, and titles and logos, and things like that. And just with this quick template, I just want to show you that you can add a little bit more customization uh, with using presets. So now you have some more unexpected techniques for your crazy motion graphic arsenal. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week. Hit us up on Instagram. We have After Effects and other design content on there as well. And always be creative.